Thanks, Teresa. From the hot list to the stone cold list, today is National Girlfriend Day. And like most people, I like celebrating holidays, but seeing that I couldn't be more single, I decided to seek some help in my quest for love. No, I didn't text Carlos Danger for advice, but here's what I did do on the breakdown. I don't want this. I don't care, I'm done. What? I am done. Or this. Whose side are you on, Eddie? What? What sides are there? Mine are the ozones, choose one. But this kind of girlfriend would be nice. So it's time to check in with a psychic to see what the future holds for my love life. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Here's the first rule of thumb that I always ask people when they ask about love. Would you date you? No, yeah, I, yeah, no, it depends. Spirit's ready to give you the whole enchilada. I think she's out there, but she's having experiences that are disappointing. So she's gonna hang out with some real losers, so she'll really appreciate So you'll me. really look good. Right, so I'm gonna look real good. Yeah. With those words of encouragement, I'm off to see relationship expert Mike Lindstrom for his list of advice on how to make this happen. What can we do? You know what's funny? Number one thing that a lot of people overlook, social media. It's simple. You gotta get yourself out there to, to network within the people that you know. Okay, so we get social media. What else, what else can we do? I think the other thing is just talk, talking to your friends about it. Ask people because that people wanna help you. People wanna help you. So you gotta put it out there. So we get social media, ask your friends, put it out there. Uh, the other one I say is your is your just your overall behavior, your swagger. When you carry it, people pick up on it. When you're closed off and you have issues, people pick up on it as well. So you want to be careful. Taking my swagger down the road of romance on the breakdown.